And as crews scour through the rubble in New York City tonight, we wanted to know what goes into responding to a disaster like today's. And Rhode Island has its own team of experts ready to respond at any given moment. And tonight we've learned they're unique compared to other teams. I would assume reporter Kelly Sullivan is live in our studio now with more in-depth coverage tonight. Well, Mike and Shannon, every state is required to have some type of search and rescue team. The Rhode Island Urban Search and Rescue Task Force, a volunteer team also known as USAR, trains year-round and is prepared at a moment's notice if something were to happen. A 72-member volunteer team comprised of specialists in all different fields make up the Rhode Island Urban Search and Rescue Task Force. Training year-round, the team can respond to any type of disaster, whether it's a hurricane or building collapse. Every state is required to have some type of task force, but Rhode Island's is unique. It would probably take a federal team to get out the door and to respond maybe three, four hours. We can get anywhere in the state probably in 30 or 40 minutes once the balloon goes up. When USAR is called in to help, the team's skilled members bring along certain tools that not every fire department has. And it would pick up a, a pulse so we would see it on a screen. Like the sounding device that can detect if someone is trapped underneath rubble. If somebody was tapping or moving or just breathing underneath the debris, we would actually be able to, to pick up that, that sounding, uh, which would allow us to get to the victim quicker. The team is prepared to respond in any situation, from terrorism to water rescues and building collapses. Each scenario is handled differently. In the case of collapsed buildings, structural engineers are crucial in helping the team to safely get victims out. It's not a matter whether there's 10 people trapped or two people trapped. It's just, it's such an involved process. It takes so much work to just get to them one or two people. Now, the first emergency the Rhode Island USAR team was called out to help in was Hurricane Katrina. And since then, it's helped out in Hurricanes Irene and Sandy and also rescued several people from the 2010 floods. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.